again and welcome to my channel my name is Chinyan Abdullah Style Glam if this is your first time on my channel you are so welcome it's aujourd'hui si c'est ta première fois sur ma chaîne tu es la bienvenue on a ou bossé une meeting for the first time so hello guys once again and welcome back to my channel my name is Chinyan Abdullah Style Glam if this is your first time on my channel thank you so much for being here tu es la bienvenue uh, bienvenue to uh, what is the other language can I speak to welcome you guys to this awesome channel um, I can't remember all of them and if of course and if you already subscribed to my channel thank you so so much for being a part of this family okay so today I decided to do this video on a whim because I was like listen ah, you know I say association of TMC if you don't know what TMC is TMC is the men's club the series that airs every Thursday on YouTube here yeah? so I say you know the member of the TMC club I say it's not possible that the final season can just finish like that and uh, I won't say my own, I won't talk my own you know though most times I speak on I always I'm quite act uh, active on the um, on their platform in the comment section but i just felt like okay finally you know you know and i also felt initially that you know there was um also someone who also did you know she also gave her own you know she didn't give reviews but she it was just her commentary on you know the episode so i was and i'm talking about adenika adebayo but for me today i just want to talk about like you know as an audience member i'm not here as a critic or anything but as a member of the audience you know how i felt about this series and you know my take on it so if you want to hear what i gotta say just keep on watching all right so guys so if i actually let me be truthful when i saw this series on youtube tmc i was ignoring it like crazy you know and just one day out of curiosity seriously just out of curiosity i just picked up it was always popping on my timeline on youtube so out of curiosity i was like okay let me show i know what this people are talking about and then i clicked on i think it was episode four of the first season and i was just like hey i didn't even finish i just did stop why 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 rewind rewind so i went and started watching from episode one till now and i binged watch i binged watched everything and i each time i finished i kept on watching over and over and over again i picked up my favorite episodes and i was watching them again but i watched i i what i binged watched episode one to episode two to where they stopped and i started all over again and it was just a crazy marathon for me because i was totally in love with it i mean this is one series that you know got me i watched skinny Girl, girls in uh, skinny girl in transit but this particular one i don't know you know and i think for me the allure is the fact that you know it's a series that was done from the point of view of the men you know giving women an insight to the kind of struggles men deal with as well you know kind of things you know how certain things are perceived you know we women we see things from our own side as women so we see this being played out from the man's side of things and it's totally interesting you guys so before i go into the final season first of all i just want to talk very quickly about all the seasons all this um all the episodes all the episodes were good they were but some were way more much better than others so i, I, I uh, for me i picked up my favorite seasons um my favorite episodes for episode one uh, for season one um actually um i will take well since it was the beginning of course so in that was when i got roped in from in from the get-go so all the all the episodes were all good i think when i began to really get so drawn in into the um, where i began to you know i had so much hope for you know or so much interest was towards the end where we saw grace agilore you know do the on tin cable you know that kind of thing well you know and that was actually and i think that was where the peak that was actually that began the peak of you know um the the, the season of the episode of the or of this series you know so i give it to each and every one of the actors um grace i give it to ayola i give it to and please let me call them by their stage name i beg you can i know vex because i can just be shopping and be calling another person that is not his name now i give it to aminu i give it to louise louise I give it to Tayo, ah, Tayo, Tayo, fear God. I give it to, um, what's his name? I give it to Larry. Ah! I give it to Larry. I give it to Louise's, in fact, I give it to all of them. 
uh, some more than others, of course, um, truthfully, you know. Um, for me, Grace, I'm not here talking about, of course, she's not an actress. So it's always, it would be normal that, you know, her acting was not, you know, up to beat. She actually, for me, in, in, in episode, in the first uh, season, she actually made me, I always went to, you know, had to like go quickly, you know, over her own scenes, you know, because I think she was, I think it was a question of being extremely shy. Uh, with a lot of people, you know, on her face, on your, on, in front of her. It's understandable. So when we stay in behind the scenes here, shooting videos, and when people that you're, you don't know, and you're not, you know, still trying to be comfortable with, come around you, it's hard, you know. So I think that must have been the issue. I'm sure if she gave it another shot, she would, you know, know what to do. That aside, season two, hey. My dear brothers and sisters, my dear accent starts. So my favorite scenes in season two has to be, first of all, the beginning, six months later, Tayo was in all sorts. You know, it's understandable. I mean, this is somebody who's been married to someone and then you find out that your brother is actually strafing your wife. I mean, what the, you know, so that kind of thing, you know, it destabilizes one. I mean, it's, even if it's not a, if, if, both man and woman, it destabilizes, you know, one. So, you know, Tayo, I think Tayo, and Tayo has been a good actor from the moment I watched him in, um, Tins no, it wasn't Tinsel. Oh, I, I forgot the name of that series where we saw one of the most beautiful um, actresses ever. Um, what's her name? Urueke. I can't remember the title of that. If I, if I remember the title, I'm going to put it in the video. So, Taya had always been a good actor. He delivered and he delivers well. And you know, and six months later, we see a troubled Taya. And you know, in truth, um, I kind of, I, I kind of felt sorry for him, but I also wanted to see, you know, this part of, you know, this part of this man, you know, who you know, seemed so confident, so put together, you know, fall apart. And we now see, you know, his friends trying to, you know, put him back on his feet. And I think it's something, you know, because most times we as women, you know, when, 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 if you, if, if you also look at in the, in the, in the, in the, in the series as well, in that particular episode, we see a situation where Bataille goes to the strip club, he, you know, he seems like he's in, in, in all his elements, you know, he's dancing, he's, but you see, that's the part that, you know, men usually show us as women, you know, but we don't see the struggle behind it. And that's what they showed us there. And that's very, very good, you know. And then, you know, we see his friends trying to, you know, put an, inter you know, try, they carried out an intervention to get him, you know, back on track. So that was a good episode for me. Uh, and the episode I, another episode I love, the one that really cold. Super funny also was the fact that his friends, you know, they just jumped in on the on the whole thing, you know, on the ridicule. And, you know, it really made it, you know, for me, it really made it, you know, so real, you know, that kind of thing. You know, these are the kind of things that it's fun to see. I laughed, eh? You know, and Tayo, you know, Tayo started, you know, being so stupid and, you know, he was giving everyone the microphone and, you know, and Louis, Louis is a guy. You see, Louis, I, in fact, in the beginning of that series, or in when I, the commencement of that series, or of this episode, let me, let me be truthful. Louis caught my attention. Caught my attention because of his use of innuendos. He had to, he knew how to use innuendos. He knew how to, you know, and that his hat, <laughs> that his hat was just an eye catcher, you know. And over, you know, as the series continued, I, you know, and I just enjoyed Louis, you know. He's... He's the guy, you know, he's the one that has all the saucy jokes. He's the one that has all the crazy, you know, he just knows how to, you know, you know, he is the comic relief. That's Louis. Louis is the comic relief. And that's what I love about him so much. Of course, until things began to get real for him. And then in the next episode, I actually loved uh, also was episode five, left off. In episode five, if I recall what happened in episode five, we're talking about, yes, it was in episode five that he um, met, I think it was in episode five, he met Body of God. Yeah. And that girl is so beautiful. She is so, excuse me. She is so, so, so beautiful. Body of God. I was, I, when I saw her on, when she first became introduced, you know. No, sorry. Left off was, I'm sorry. Let me, I take that back. Left off was when 
uh, Tayo finds out that the body of God is actually the daughter of the same man he's trying to bid uh, for, uh, he's trying to bid for, you know, a contract. So, you know, things begin to get really, really complicated for Tayo then. But I love her. I think she just won my heart. I, in, in the moment I saw her, you know, Hadiza just flew out of my head. I just didn't want to see Hadiza anymore. No, no, sorry. Not that I didn't want to see Hadiza anymore. But you know that situation whereby you're looking at this person and, you know, she was just an embodiment of realness, you know. She just, and she had this air around her. She was the life of the party. And I like people who are like that. So, yes. And that was what Tiara, that's what Body of God, um, you know. So in Body of God, I love Body of God. I love the way she was able to, uh, she didn't blackmail him. She was, she was very, she was being very pushy with uh, Tayo and Tayo. Hey, Tayo. Tayo, Tayo, please, can you ever say once, say no for once, please, Tayo. Just say no. Didn't you see how Louis did his own? Louis just saw Tony. He didn't even talk so that they will not be as if to say they will say that there was an exchange of words. He just turned back. Tayo, for once in your life, say no. She can. Anyway, so I enjoyed discovering Tiara in Left Off. Uh, like I said, she was the life of the party. Very beautiful girl. And I hope to see a lot of her in, you know, the next season. My next favorite season uh, should be Ain't Life A. So in that one, I think it was where uh, we, did. We, see, we see Jasmine. Oh my God. Now, I have to give it to her. Uh, she delivered her role. You, 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 you know, I mean, the, 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 the she actually and you know as much as you know we all love to hate her in this series but what i love so much about her and what she did in this party in tmc was she totally broke away from shaliwa you know if because most times in the beginning i was looking at her with the eyes i used to see shaliwa in skinny girl in transit but here we see a totally different person and that is what makes a very wonderful actress she has broken away so much so that if you if we're just going through the comment section alone you see that she is actually being referred to in the character she's not referred to anymore as any other person but jasmine and that i say is a stellar performance she is given a stellar in, in this series she's been, she's given a very very wonderful a stellar performance and i love her so much for that you know in this series now moving on um, we move on to episode 9 my brother's helper and there we see Amino come out and show the reason why they are friends and that is what friends do he stands out he stands up and he has your back and in that's where we see where Amino comes out you know uh, in, in his, you know in his form and hmm, you guys you guys to fall for Amino now hey I'm not a tree I am a forest Hey, Omo, I say, if you just be hearing the lyrics that boy is just pushing out in this series, you just swoon. I read one comment and the person said, Kari, I don't know who she is, and she said, if Aminu can carry to me, to me, I'm never losing weight again. He delivers his role so well, so much so that you actually fall in love too. You want to just, and what I love so much about it is the fact that you know, we get to fall in love so much with Aminu's character. Ayola delivers. In Skinny Girl in Transit, he did the same. Here, he's doing it again. And, you know, I would, I, he's, he's just, oh, to me, me. I nearly slapped that girl spiritually. Because, you know, all the basic that is happening now, she should have known better. But I'm still, I, I, cons I'm, I understand in a way. Um, you know, in a situation where she felt, oh, she needed to get the, it happens, but you see, those are the things and, you know, and why, why I'm saying this is because it also helps to showcase and bring out the things that should not be professionally. There should be guidelines to how a client is, uh, involved with, you know, how a client should be involved with, you know, he, uh, he whoever his inter interlocutor is in a company going out to lunch with a client should be on the company's tab okay it should be on the company's tab that you go out to lunch there are certain compartments that shouldn't take place like when louis uh, when clinton clinton 
Sh just take your time. You know when Clinton says bring your hand and he touches her hand, you know she, if you notice, she felt powerless to do, to say no. And you know this also highlights some of the, uh, the, 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 the some of the wrong, you know, approaches and there's some of the things that are wrong that are ha that happen in our society in Nigeria of sexual harassment, sexual molestation. It, it's improper. So I'm so glad that they brought this out in the in the show because even everyone, are, you know, was like, but she should know, she should know. But these are some of the things that shouldn't be. And when you, as a client, um, you know, comes and says, "Okay, we have a meeting," and you take me to, and you take the person to a hotel, my dear, then you know, you notice that you have to understand that then the hotel, whatever it is that is happening in the hotel, the company is aware of it, okay? And that means whatever this client is doing, I have my own hotel room, you have your own hotel room, whatever it is we are coming to, it's a, you know, it, it's not. This is not room. This is not. A, this is not a social call. You know, so you know, with this, like I said, it's a highlight. I don't think it was a misplaced script or anything, but it was a highlight of the kind of you know nuances that shouldn't be happening, you know, in the name of uh, signing on a client, opening an account. These are things that are so totally wrong, you know. So, but I understand for me, this is what I that's how I see it, and that's how I saw the whole you know script play out. Moving on, um. The season in episode 10, uh, A Thin Line, yes. A Thin Line uh, was quite provoking uh, because there was, I think A Thin Line was the one with uh, Tonya. Mm, I don't want to, I don't want to say nonsense, uh, please, you guys, just give me a second because I'm doing this well at the same time explain. So A Thin Line um that's uh 10 i'm guessing oh sorry ain't life a bitch is where they get to go to the beach and shit hits the roof that's what happens in ain't life a bitch and um it was quite touching for me and for lola you know, I was very, I was so sorry and I felt so bad for Lola in that situation because the person time and time again, time and time and time again, who put her in that position was Lewis. Um, oh, what love could do to a woman. And then we have Hadiza going, hmm, Hadiza. Hadiza, 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 Hadiza. I, I, like, I like her, I like her character, but I think Hadiza's character, well, we'll talk about that later um, in the final one. Um, okay, so in Life of Beach, it seemed like everything happened to be going, you know, seemed to be going so well with Louise and then to uh, Lola shows up and shit hits the roof, blah, 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 that's in Life of Beach. It wasn't the one about Jasmine. A thin line is actually where we see Jasmine and that is episode 10. So a thin line is where we actually see Jasmine in all her bitchiness in this series and she actually goes all out i've said that before and then my another epi episode i loved so much was um episode 11 all good things now in this episode we see tayo do something so honorable and you know this is very and you know according to the series i'm not speaking in reality here according to the series we now actually see lanry and hadiza if you ask me lanry and hadiza they match it's just that he has not been able to see clearly that is hadiza that is the one for him but the day he will be able to see clearly hadiza and lanry they should just be together it's going to work out well for them and i'm so proud of tyo so proud of tyo in what he did there was nothing wrong with what he did by going to tiara's side because at the end of the day it was a very serious and dicey situation you don't act irresponsibly just because you're trying to save yourself there are some things that are more important than money and that was what he showed here and it also made us understand or know that yes he had begun to form you know he had begun to have feelings for body of god oh body of god i like that girl you know so he did a, such an honorable thing and i give it to him he did he played that role so well it was so good then another thing <laughs> and then um we also move on from there and see um, Louis also act honorable, you know, not taking advantage of Lola, happened since Lola was drunk, you know, and that's also a very wonderful thing to see. We've had we have situation where situations where men do actually take advantage of women who are in a state of um, 
of a drunkenness, you know. So we also see even if they've known each other, even if they're dating, even if they know, have knowledge of each other, but he also takes out, you know, he takes the high road and takes care of her, you know, and gets her sober, you know. So yes, that was a very wonderful uh, play there by Lewis. And then we also see Tayo get serious with work, you know. I'm glad for that too. And then uh, moving on, we also see Ah Mohammed. Mm, that guy is a psychopath, you know. And he's playing the role so well, you know. I look at him and I'm like, he got the role to the T. He's 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 his 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 um his being in the series is not so much, he's not there, but once he appears He's delivering the role of actually a psychopath and he's doing it very well, pretty well. So yes, I'm going to give it to Mohammed. Mohammed is actually somebody I would love to see in, you know, the next uh, season. Um, what else? Moving on. Then another one, another my favorite. I think, I think from the, in ep the whole of episode uh, season two was Firebrand. It was, I mean, it was going, you know, this way and that way. Um... Let's get to the funny side of things. Uncle Larry. Uncle Larry was dumped. Uncle Larry decided to go and meet Auntie Sade. Auntie Sade just destroyed everything. Hey! Oh my god! She was... If Shade hadn't acted any role that was amazing... Oh my god. She... she it was like a, an awakening. She now knew herself she now knew that listen this guy was just playing me and you know she delivered and i'm so happy and you know she just went street man she just went gangster on uncle larry <laughs> you know and as larry is also a pretty good actor he is a good actor i think all the men here if you ask me all the guys who um played in this um um series i think they did very well for themselves the people i don't want to see truthfully again is the fakwa guy and uh, Lola's ex-boyfriend um, like I said it's not easy for everyone to be in front of a camera and it's not always easy to you know everyone you know everything everyone beats their time and everything takes a little time but I'm not I'm not going to be in a hurry to see the Fakwa guy and I don't want to be in a hurry to see excuse me to see uh, her ex-boyfriend nah and then we see love in Tokyo I mean in Dubai with a Aminu, moving on. Okay, we've seen all that. Episode 12. Oh my god, hell hath no fury. Now we see Jasmine come out. We see Jasmine show herself. We also see Mohammed, uh, psychopathic Mohammed, also trying to claim uh, territory once again where Hadiza is concerned. Now, after all of this, you know, I think all of us will get the gist. Final, 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 final. The final episode, the last episode, episode 13, which closed it, the season. Um, I was so impressed with this episode, you know, as, despite the fact that it went to Gola in 419 in the last one, but they, 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 instead of being, they now gave us a, prem, a, a, a whatever behind the scenes, it wasn't even funny. What was that? I was just vexing. Anyway, so in this episode, in the final episode of episode 13, you know, we see different things play out. We see Hadiza, who finds her voice for the first time or the second time, telling Mohammed, No, I'm not going with you. You know, we also see Tayo, ah, my tea go, po, 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 you know, Tayo for the win, you know. And then, ah, my darling Tumini, 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 I felt so bad. I felt, I felt her pain. Um, I felt so much for her, but I want us to go back to, um, I want us to go back to one of the old episodes, I think it was, um, um, I think it was in Left Off, I'm not sure, where, um, where Aminu slept with Jasmine at the guest house, 
and he comes back to meet Minnie and he was like, no, I won't let you go. That scene was so sweet. And then she eventually still left, but then she accused him and said, oh, but I don't know what you did with her. You slept with her. And he was like, no, no, I did not. I will never do such a thing. So I'm asking, why couldn't Aminu have thought about the same thing in Tumini's case? However, how it, you know, whichever way it looked like, remember that Tumini was not with him at the guest house she never came she, she she didn't see what happened but she took his word for it and you know i mean so why wouldn't he have taken her word for it when it came down so these are the kind of things that you know sometimes men it's difficult for people to be forgiving when eventually things just begin to happen. It's always hard for somebody to come and forgive because all the things that the person has thought about, you couldn't even believe. Because she was like, she even looked at him and was like, I'm not lying. Believe me. You know, and he was like, wow. I said to say the girl won't use jazz, you know, hola. You know, so he was like, wow. You know, that kind of thing. That's how it made, made me laugh anyway. You know, so I feel so bad for too many, but I know, and I think uh, I believe that you know. I, anyway, I'm 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 so much in a hurry, you know, to see what season three has to offer. Moving on, we now see Jasmine. Of course, Jasmine obviously has understood that she has so much to lose without Aminu, and then she gives Patrick the boot. Oh my God, that girl has a mouse on her. Like I said, I am in. I can't wait to see her in the next season. Sharon Oja, stellar performance. If I had to give anybody this performance or in this series, the best performance in this series is Sharon Oja. She, and why I'm saying it's not because of the fact that she's just acting the, the bitchiness. I'm saying it because she has been able to separate. You know, she's been she, her role. She has delivered it in such a way that. You cannot remember her in any other role than this. She has captured and captivated our minds in this role as Jasmine. And that's why I'm going to give it to her. Stellar performance, Sharon Oja. Now, um, we now see um, what else again would I love to see for the next season or what I would have loved to talk about in season 13. Well, in episode 13. Sorry, I keep on saying season 13. In this episode, yes. Ah, you guys. You know, initially I was thinking that Louise's mom was like the worst actress. Nah, the woman is, you know what, in, in, in a mouse, you know, she's a mouse who blows you cold and is chewing on your feet. She's deadly. Louise has a lot, a lot. He doesn't know, he doesn't know who his mother is. He actually thinks, oh, it's my mom, you know, he has no clue what his mom is capable of and she has begun you know the woman is on a roll and she has begun you know we see a woman who is totally out of reality understanding that okay my son's happiness comes before whatever it is i need she doesn't care she wants what she wants no matter if her son is the unhappiest person in the world if no matter if her son is the uh is the unhappiest person in the world she doesn't care she wants what she wants okay so we i want to see louis has to you know i want to see what you know was going to come out of that you know with lola right now because lola is in the scene right now and you know she actually made a promise i said let's see if she'll be with you when you have no money and then we i also want to you know um truthfully for patrick for someone who had just been kicked out or who had been given the boot and walking into um, Aminu's father's company like he owned the place again just is strong evidence that the guy has no clue and he has not learned any lesson. Walking into that place the way he did with so much arrogance and air around him, let's clean this place. Are you mad? Okay, so that there will be a clear avenue and you know everyone starts on a clean slate but he walks in and he has to clean this place up. What's that? Nonsense. Anyway, moving on um then um tiara comes back surprise surprise and there we see hadiza now i'm gonna say something by end of you know my my you know i'm gonna finish with my statement at the, at the end and then tiara comes back i was so happy to see her she looks so put together um i really want tiara also i'm hoping that tiara is going to be able to work on her drug addiction problem because if Tayo is going to go into that relationship with her, I would want a situation whereby Tayo can have a whole human being, someone who's complete, 
rather than having a broken vessel. So if Tiara is going to be a broken vessel, you know, to him, coming to him, Tayo, then I would not be in support of that relationship. So I'm hoping, or I want to see, you know, how Tiara's self evolves, you know, in the face of a heartbreak, will she always turn back to drugs, you know, and stuff like that. Um, and then we now see, <laughs> Shade, Shade, Okulare. I thought you were your horse. I didn't know I was it a donkey. Ah! The girl finished my towel. You know, so Shade, good performance. I'm hoping to see more of you. Now, who is this Aisha? Is that the suspense me? I don't like. I don't like that because I we need to know the enemy we are dealing with. Already we are know we know about Jasmine. I need to know the enemy I need to start praying for. Who is Aisha? Please, all of them should just be staying far so that we'll be fighting only one enemy so that to me we have more chance because the next one that they'll come and say, eh, 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 Jasmine, do one thing, one thing, one thing, and then I shall now come back inside the house. And then I shall, I mean, I don't want that all those unnecessary heartbreak stories that touch. Mm -mm, I don't want, please. Okay, quickly. Um, then, yeah, I think I've said almost everything in a nutshell. So, what am I hoping for in season three? I'm hoping for in season three, you know, they said it's, a, it's the men's club, I agree. But I would want so much that we get away from the narrative of the damsel in distress thing. I would want to see the women as well pick themselves up. Too many also has a job. I would want to see Hadiza not, had, you know, Hadiza is put in such a situation like she's this helpless girl who cannot do anything for herself. I recall meeting Hadiza for the first time in, with Tayo and she came in as somebody who was supposed to be a professional and then Taisha and Tayo got involved. So I'm wondering, I'm asking what happened to that job she was doing, you know? So I want to see Hadiza take the reins of her emotions, of herself and everything that is happening. If you, you, she likes Tayo, yeah, but maybe Tayo is not just the guy for her. Maybe Tayo is just her rebound guy, you know, and maybe she just doesn't need that at the moment. Maybe Hadiza needs something else, okay? So I want to see a Hadiza who may be soft-spoken, but she is strong as well. That's what I want to see. Well, she also showed us a little bit of that, but I want to see more, you know. I want to see uh, Timini. I want to see Timini grow emotionally. I want to see her grow um, physically, I want to also see her grow, you know, financially. She's a girl that ha holds her own, and I want her to be able to, to put that forth moving on. Because my mind tells me that yes, Aminu is going to come back and beg, but under what circumstances, I don't know. I don't want this, I don't want the oh, Aminu, oh, thank you for, and no, I want them to suffer, you know, because this Aminu is too, it's too much in him. You can imagine that Timini sent him a note and I told the secretary to throw it away. Which kind of nonsense is that one? Eh? So, I want Aminu to beg. Yes, I want him to beg. And I want them to show it. Because the truth is, yes, we've got men who beg. You guys should stop. In this thing, we, yes, men beg. So, show it. I want to see it. Anyway, moving on. Louis. Oh, my God. If Louis hadn't, had, didn't have any strength of character before, I want to see Louis's strength of character now that shit hits the roof. That's what I want to see. I want to see a Lewis who is, you know, he, he's been able to stand up to his mom so far. And I want to see a Lewis who will go the whole nine yards in this. Tonya, oh my darling Tonya. Ah, my dear. You know, a lot of women go through this, you know, false promises of love. And you know, it's, it's very painful. I actually read a book about this. You know, and I cried when I read the book, you know, Unrequited Love. Because when you are there and it's not, it's, it, it, the pain is much more piercing. The person could give you their body, but you, they don't have your soul, you know. And that's actually the, the bad part of it. So I'm hoping that Tonya gets to, you know, I mean, actually, we've seen her able to walk away from Louise's mom. And that I'm happy for. But I also want to see Tonya come into herself to understand that she does not need any man to love her to be complete but rather she could have love requited you know back the same way she gives it that's what i want to see i don't want to see the tonya who is so rude because she could be better she could do better you know and i think 
you know that's you know i think that's it. I, I don't want to see that rude tonya i don't want to see that and, and, and i don't want to see that person i want to see another tonya you know i want to see another tonya who's gotten herself in order picked herself up you know doing stuff you know who eventually comes back and says louis i'm so sorry you know i shouldn't have i didn't know what i was doing i was led by your mom you know that kind of thing. i want to see that and like i wish you all the best you know it didn't work out with it with, between us you would never have worked out anyway you know that kind of thing that's the kind of toy i want to see and i want to see a very 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 wonderful strong you know woman and yeah i think that's it for me on the episode 13. it was the it was the, i think of for me episode 13 was just the bomb and I'm hoping that season three is going to be the bomber, the bombest. <laughs> Please, you push or put it inside the channel. Season three is going to be the bombest. Yeah. So on this note, guys, feel free to comment, feel free to like, feel free to share. And yes, until my next video, you guys, um, not fail to, you know, subscribe to my channel. And until the next video, bye. When I'm down